A new Ohio Senate bill aims to protect children from predators. Annette Pegler found out what it's going to take to get that passed. There are too many people out there that are taking advantage of our children. Tammy Lewis has a granddaughter in grade school, and although she takes the bus, she's always worried about her safety. It scares me. I mean, my granddaughter, her, the school bus drops her off close to her home, but you never know when there's going to be somebody that's going to be sitting there waiting. She wants a bill sitting in the Ohio Senate to be passed to crack down on those predators. Senate Bill 64 is a criminal child enticement bill that prohibits people from soliciting or luring children into their cars or houses. Ohio's previous child enticement law was recently thrown out after being ruled unconstitutional and overbroad. What that means is that, you know, while we're trying to uh, prevent perpetrators from luring children into cars where we may be accidentally um, capturing the parents who's offering their, their children's friends a ride home and, and so the court's concerned that it was overbroad so we needed to tighten that language up and that's what this bill does. Senator Beagle from Tip City says he feels a personal connection to the bill because of the recent attempted abductions in Tip City, one right in his neighborhood. And this young man had to had to run down my own street hmm. to find safety. And, and it scares me to think that if, if and when we apprehend this guy, that Ohio's law is that we can't charge him with anything. I think a lot of times it happens more than not. It's just the kids don't think to tell their parents until a few days later, or they you know, don't think anything of it because you know, it's not going to happen to them type mentality. Police believe the lack of an Ohio law makes predators think they can get away with it. The bill will help so that when these happen and, and when we catch these people, that we make sure they go to jail and they aren't getting off on a technicality. In Tip City, Annette Pegler, Fox 45 News. The Senate votes next Wednesday. We'll, of course, bring you the results.